All right, welcome back. She's the brainchild behind a powerful new anti bullying message, and she's a high schooler from Winchester, Virginia. Her name is Lauren Brocious, and her video, Labels, is the result of all the mean comments she noticed on a friend's Instagram page recently. Check it out. The hurtful words that people call us. We take those words personally and we take them to heart. We start to believe what other people say about us and forget who we are. And we start defining ourselves by other people's words. The video clearly striking a nerve. It's already been watched tens of thousands of times, and it's been featured on websites like Cosmo, People, and the Huffington Post. And Lauren joining us now live with more on her cyberbullying campaign and the inspiration behind the video and the response. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. We got yeah. to chat off camera for a bit, yeah. and I learned quite about uh, quite a bit about you. Uh, but for the viewers who aren't aware, first of all, let me just tell you that you're. Such a mature, beautiful soul. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I appreciate with it. Positive energy. Oh, thank you. And so, did you think by seeing all the hateful comments, really feeling convicted to do this powerful video, did you realize the impact you would be making? Um, no, I originally just posted it just to support my friend. I never thought that it would end up going viral. And I posted it, I think, just to support my friend. And I realized that other people are really affected by this because it's something that everyone has, you know, goes through. Um, it applies to so many people, regardless of age, gender, race, sexual orientation. That's so true. I think at some point in our lives, we've all experienced some type of bullying, whether it's financial, the way you look, uh, the things you say. I mean, at some point, we've all experienced it. So let's talk about some of the things that you saw on her Instagram page, your friend's Instagram page. When you saw that, how did you feel? Well, at first, I think it was my gut instinct to comment back and to, you know, really serve them justice. But then at the same time, I was thinking to myself, why would I stoop down to that level? Um, so I did what I feel like I do best, and that was make a YouTube video. Yeah. And I started, you know, I started drawing words on my face that I remember being called and that would help maybe have her empathize with me and we could empathize with each other through that. So now this video has been viewed nearly 70,000 times. It's just ticking. I've been checking all morning long and it's clicking away. Uh, how does that make you feel and what do you see it going in the future? Um, well, definitely I'm just humbled by this experience. Um, I this is, I can't even fathom how I'm feeling right now because it's just so mind-blowing that so many people would view this. Um, and I really want more people, I think, to view it in a sense of, I think that this message needs to be spread to everyone that cyberbullying is not okay. And, um, you know, it's really on the inside of you that matters. And other people's words don't define you and you define your personal self. Well, you know, I think in today's world, it, bullying doesn't end just on the playground or in school hallways, it does go on to the web as well. You have a lot of trolls online, and so you're facing it both ways, right? Um, but the words that you write on your face, and did you have a vision of how you wanted this video to play out? Because even as you narrate it, the words are so, so powerful. Actually, no. I have lived the entire video. Um, I didn't have a set script or anything like that. Um, in all my YouTube videos, I end up ad-libbing them. I don't put a set script or anything like that. Um, I started, you know, I, edit, I started editing the video, and then the words just came naturally um, for the voiceover mm -hmm. and what I was going to say. And let me just say, one takeaway for me watching this video was when you said that um, you need to start thinking about yourself in a more positive image, and then that will become contagious. And, and think about that. I mean, if you carry yourself in a positive light, it's just going to, you know, spread it throughout people around you, and then they learn from you, and it spreads, it spreads, it spreads. So how beautiful is that? Absolutely. And you are doing it. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate age. it. She's thank you. 17. Oh my gosh, I know. 17 years old. You have such a mature soul. Well, it's thank a, you. A beautiful one. Thank you so much. Thank Lauren. you so much for and, having uh, me. In the future, are you going to make more? Types of these videos. I absolutely, think. absolutely. If it empowers our youth of today, then absolutely. Right on. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Back to you guys. You know, I love about what what Lauren did there, and we see it so often now. Uh -huh. Is through the power of social media, you can reach so many more people with the love than you can with the. You know right. what I mean? Like the, the hate is always going to be there. Oh yeah. And it may be directed at one person, but you could take that and then you can spread the positive yeah. to so many more. And make it even much bigger, Steve. Like, yeah. Just like you said. Absolutely. Well yeah. done, Lauren. Good job. Good job. Nine twenty right now. Coming up next, uh, Chinatown.